You, you, you know, you know, when I stopped chasing ass, you progressed. Nah, this is, this is, this is a, this is a quick story time. This is when I stopped chasing ass. So, you know, I was always good with chicks, never had problems with hoes, but always had problems in relationships though. And that's just cause I'm the type of person who don't like to compromise and compromising is one of the best, most imperative thing in relationships on top of communication. So. I remember I caught a DUI, <clears throat> first DUI I caught, uh, was out partying, doing hella shit in the city, San Francisco. Made it all the way home. It was this big booty chick, hit me up, it's like three in the morning, went over there and smashed, still was drunk. Got up, when I got up, I see my car was, parked off fucked up so basically what happened was i blocked the lady in she called the police police came got me right boom dui i didn't know at the time this is this is actually wisdom for you young cats because i used to fight this case and shit because i was thinking to myself like how can i get a dui when i wasn't driving well if you got your keys on you that's intent it don't matter if you in your car if you drunk you got your keys that's intent so boom they took me in Two weeks later, it's uh, Memorial Day. I'm at a strip club. I'm at a strip club slash bar. And then boom, checkpoint, DUI again. So I got two in two weeks. So I thought to myself while I'm in jail, boom, where I live, then if you get three DUIs, that's a felony. So that's a felony. I, I'm going to lose my job. I'm not going to have these same broads. They're going to be gone. We're we going to talk on the phone and shit. They're going to move the fuck on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lose my money, my hoes, my job, car, note, whatever. So what's the common denomination? Why would I lose all of this? First DUI. Ch chasing a bitch. Chasing bit. ass. Yep. Second DUI at a strip club. Chasing, chasing ass. ass. I say, you know what? When I get out of jail... No more chasing ass. So what I did was I flipped my whole game around and I said, you know what? I am going to be a man that attracts women only. I want to be the, I want to attract bitches now. I'm not chasing women. And I always want women who want you. That's the game too. Yeah. You always want to have the one who want you because the one that you want got the power. Because you think because you told, ain't told her I love you when shit she don't know. Women can pick up on this energy. They know. They know when they call you a bitch ass and kick you out. And you want to have a conversation. They know you love her then. They know it then. Don't matter what come out of your mouth. Because they know when you don't love them, you can leave them. Mm. The key is, the key is the real game is to manufacture that level and admiration of love and the bitch will raise her shit to that. But your, uh, your emotion is not really attached to what you're showing her. Because guess what? That's what they do to us. You wonder why a woman can love you so much? You were, you were daddy. She called you daddy. She got up and made you breakfast. What, what's today? It's, it's July 20th. She got up, made you breakfast, called you daddy. Told you, you, told you your waves was on point. Told you you smelled good. She loved your Ferragamo. And two weeks later, she won't answer your calls. How can this happen? But she told me she loved me. Why? Because women know how to fabricate, fabricate their emotions to raise yours. They know how to do it. The same reason why a woman can have and produce a whole person with someone and move on to someone else. Mm. You see that you can't, you can't, when, when you are a perv and you are a chaser and you want sex, you can't do things like this. Your mind won't let you think like this. Don't never, don't never tell, don't never feel like a woman is giving you sex ever again, ever. No more. You are serving. You feel me? You are the, you are the hot dog stand. 
You are the hot dog stand. You pull out, they get it. You are you are not receiving her. Women benefit too. Mm -hmm. Simple math. When women have sex, when you cast have sex with the woman, who who's most of most of the time busting the multiple three, four, five nuts? It's most likely not you. It's gonna be her. So so she benefits. More in most cases. More. <laughs> right. Uh, like I said, you know, even if you want to want women to invest and do things for you, you got to put your penis in your pocket, bro. You have to do that. You shouldn't, you should never, if you're over the age of 30, you shouldn't be having horny sex anymore. You only supposed to have reward sex because that's what it is. Your sex, your presence, your energy is the reward for her submissiveness. If you if 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 you got if you that horny, have you separate chicks for that? Have you separate chicks for that? If you horny. I'm telling y'all, bro. Mm. 